I got a question for you. Today's world that we're living in, do you look around, do you see depression, do you see anxiety, do you see fear, do you see all of these things sometimes with your job being threatened to lose your job and, and all sorts of things going on that would make you sad or, or get you anxious? And do you sometimes think, I just like to know where God is. I'd like to find God and have God in my life. We're going to talk about it, and I'm going to tell you the best way you can find Him. In just a moment. As we said in the intro, we want to talk to you for just a couple of minutes today, or maybe four, five, six minutes, about finding God. As we said earlier, you look around you at the world today. And a lot of times you don't have to look far to get depressed, to get stressed, to get fear, to get anxiety. It can be th something as simple as maybe possibly losing your job or maybe seeing the prices skyrocket or maybe seeing things on the news that makes you uneasy. There are things that prick fear in a person's life or, as I said, anxiety and these type of things. It's during these time periods that people, some people, realize maybe they need God more than ever. Maybe you're watching this video and you've stumbled across it and you normally don't even watch these kind of videos, but maybe you've stumbled across it because you was looking up something on finding God. Well, let me say it like this. A lot of people today might think, you know, let's just say, for example, today, you really felt like, oh, I need the Lord in my life. I've got to wait till next Sunday to go to church to pray. Well, it's great going to churches. But I'm going to tell you something today. You don't have to wait to find the Lord. You do not have to wait at all. Just think about it like this. What about people today that live in other countries that Maybe they don't even have a church they can go to. What about people today that live where there's lockdowns? Maybe there's no way that they can even go to a church. What about people that are physically limited to where they cannot get out and physically go to a church? Or what about people that's even in jail or prisons, sentenced to 15 years or 30 years or life. Is there no hope for them because they can't get out of their jail cell? The title of this video was How Can I Find God? First off, as I said, it's not where. You don't have to wait to go on a Sunday to a church to find God. Second of all, let me tell you this way. It's not how loud you yell. You don't have to holler to get God's attention. You don't have to you don't have to cry. Now sometimes we do cry. I cry. There's a lot of times I get talking about the goodness of God and I cry. So there's times we do cry. But that's not the that's not the ingredient, the main ingredient. There's one main ingredient that you've got to have. And I want you to know today as I'm talking to you if you're watching this video and you desire a deeper walk with Christ, you want him to be Lord of your life more than he ever has been up to this point. You can do that and you can do it today. Because the requirement isn't physically going to a building somewhere. The requirement isn't hollering at the top of your voice to get God's attention. The requirement isn't crying to where God sees your sorrow. Do you know what the requirement is? And I'm going to read it to you. And this ought to give you a lot of hope today. And as I said, most of the time, I put these videos out as we're trying to encourage the body of Christ and, you know, and, and trying to help everyone. But it's mainly encouraging people in their relationship with God. But God laid this upon me to share with you today. So maybe there's just one, maybe one person out there watching this, that this video will help. And it'll be all worth it. But I'm going to read to you the verse 
That's the only requirement to finding the Lord. Jeremiah chapter number 29 and verse 13. It said, and ye shall seek me and find me when ye cry real loud. No, that's not what he said. You shall seek me and find me when ye shall search in every building in your county. No, that's not what it said. I'm going to read to you what it said. Ye shall seek me, and ye shall find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. The main thing to do today, if you're looking for God, if you're looking for the Lord himself today, and you say, Lord, this world is just throwing so much at me, I need you, Lord. He said, the day you seek me with all your heart, that day you'll find me. So where do you have to be? What do you have to do? You might ask that question. Once again, God doesn't put any limitations on that. You can be driving down the road and you could be praying while you're driving, hopefully with your eyes open, but you could be praying, pouring out your heart to God, and you can find Jesus Christ. You could be sitting on a fish bank somewhere, and you could feel it, Lord, I love doing this fishing, but it's just not giving me the inner peace that I need. I've got to have, Lord, what you've got for me that I can pillow my head at night and have peace in my soul. And on that fish bank, Jesus Christ can come into your life. We mentioned earlier, what about a jail cell? People can be behind bars today. Just seek out for him with all your heart. Tell him, Lord, I want you to be Lord of my life. And the Bible said that day, that day, you will find him. When you search for him with all your heart. It's not how high you jump. It's not how high you yell. It's not even if you cry, like I start to do sometimes. But it's just giving Jesus Christ your heart. Ask him to come into your life. And when you pillow your head at night, you can pillow it feeling a whole lot better because you know you're one of his. When you begin to walk with God and you begin your walk with God, what I'm telling you today is this. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, you don't have to wait till a certain time. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. You don't have to wait to a certain place. The connection going between you and God, that phone line going between you and God, the phone line is always open. And he's waiting for your call. Call him up today. How can I find God? Search out for him with all your heart and you're going to find him. If you like this, what you've seen today and what you've heard, I invite you, there should be a little subscribe button pop up anytime with our little logo. Hit that subscribe button. We would sure appreciate it. I often tell people to look at our playlist on our songs but we also try to put the teachings that we do, we try to put them in playlists as well to sort of narrow things down to where if you want a little bit more teaching, you can maybe look in, a, maybe look in our playlist on miracles. Maybe you can look in our playlist on uh, 
you know, just basic Bible teachings or prophecy. You can, you can look. We try to divide it up and make it a little easier on you. We invite you to look at each and every one, listen to them all, and please be a subscriber and share it with your friends. Remember today, God loves you, God bless you, and we want to see you on our next video.